I think we might be an advantage. We wouldn't have had as much time to get nervous about this. So it really is about going out and just playing the game that we've played all season. We've got um, a very good backline. Not telling you too much. <laughs> a very good backline. We like to play uh, play it quite wide and play it quite mobile. So we'll be hoping that it will be the same as usual. To be fair, and the surface certainly lends itself to that kind of game that we're we're hoping to pull out tomorrow. You've had plenty of time to get nervous <laughs> about it. So. Uh, <laughs> How do you how do you combat that? How do you damp that down? I think I think just saying to the guys just to enjoy it. I think we uh, we play our best rugby when we're when we're relaxed and uh, and just enjoying gym playing rugby. So um, just yeah, don't get complacent. Just uh, go out there and, and do what we've been doing all season. Certainly the atmosphere in the club has been great towards the, the end of the season. This is the first time that a Broughton women's team has made it to a, any kind of uh, bowl final. Um, so the club is really excited and really getting behind us and um, they'll be there to support on the day. It's a, it's a big day for, for any club to get to, to a cup final. How's Ayers preparation been? It's been really uh, strong. We've put in additional training sessions um, and with our uh, games through the season, we feel really ready for the games ahead. The rest of the club, um, like our first and seconds have had a really good season as well and they've narrowly missed out so I think it'd be really good if we won some silverware and I think like the whole club's behind us and I think it'd be really good just a good way to end the season and a good way to start the next season off as well by winning. I think they'll be surprised by the level of skill actually, um, because well, it's obviously a little bit slower paced than the guys game, but the skill level is right up there, and the, the aggression and the hits that they'll see, it's, we're not just touching and pushing each <laughs> other about, we're actually getting shoulder in there and hitting just as hard. Yeah, very, very impressed, eh? it looks like a nice tidy wee stadium, the pitch looks fantastic, good for Bit of running rugby, should be plenty of tries. Well, that's what that's what Hawks were saying that, that this is going to make it a fast game because of the surface. So, does that suit both of your teams? Yeah, I think so. Um, we're, we'll be looking to play high tempo game with our. Uh, we've got a mobile pack, so we'll hopefully try and move move them about and see how we get on. It's been a long campaign for to get here. I mean, did you think at the start of that game campaign that you were going to end up here? You know, and what is the big club day? Out? I think you kind of just take one game at a time, as the old cliche goes, but as you get nearer to the final, maybe quarter-final stage, you start thinking about oh, that would be quite good to go to Broadwood, so uh, uh, semi-finals, obviously, great result there for us, so got through. Uh. Mackie in August, <laughs> is it August or yeah. September? Yeah, August. It's, it's a long August time start. ago, so yeah. how, how have the, how's the team done since then? Uh, pretty well, I think uh, we've had a solid league campaign got a few good results, a couple of ones we were disappointed with, we thought we could have maybe um, challenged for promotion um, if we got a couple of more results away from home, but yeah, it's been a good good season for Caithness so far. I think it'll definitely give us a, a larger platform, especially playing just before the cup final with Hawks and Harriets. Hopefully there'll be a lot of crowd there, hopefully people have stayed around from the two earlier games and hopefully they'll just get to see what women's rugby is like and kind of get a bit of respect for it and see how well that we can play. Okay, and in terms of, I'm not going to ask you to give your game plans, or <laughs> that would be daft, but what's key for, for one day tomorrow? What do you want to do? What do you want to achieve? We just want to put out a performance there again. We've been building over the season. We've been getting better game on game. And we've talked about the training. It's all about attitude and where we are mentally and just sticking together. If we stay as a team, I think we'll be okay. Okay. What's key for Melrose? I think we've had a lot of girls step up to the mark really recently and you know they've said that they want to be in the squad and they, you know, they've stood for selection and they've got in there and I think that having played a couple of sevens ties already recently this you know this, this season I think that'll really benefit our, our, sort of our game plan as well and how we like to play. And the night's out booked? No comment. <laughs> <laughs> Could possibly comment. <laughs> I really like it. Um, I think it suits um, both teams' games and things like that. It's nice and, and quick, and, and we've been training on it for the past past few weeks and stuff. So uh, it's good to get a feel on it, and just looking forward to it. Does it make a difference to your game? You know, the synthetic surface. Uh, well, obviously, the game will probably be a bit quicker. Uh, maybe at rucks time, placing the ball might be an issue, but 
I think it's just going to be good for an attacking style of rugby. Okay, what kind of game are you expecting between the two of you? Because obviously you're facing each other during the league season. So what are you expecting tomorrow? Uh, well, I think the two games we've had have been fairly high scoring, especially the one just down at uh, Golden Acre Pass. So I mean, we know that they like to attack, and we also do. So hopefully, it should be like an, an exciting game, and both teams looking to score a lot of tries. You talk about excitement. Can you sum up the, the excitement around the club, the fact that you're, you're going to a final and you know a chance for a big club day out? Oh, we're just buzzing down at here. It's you know uh, we love the cup. You know, it means a lot to us, so we just can't get enough of it. We're waiting for Saturday, really. How important is it just to keep a, a rein on that excitement? Because obviously you want to do your, your best, you want your best performance, but can it sometimes just get away from you a wee bit? Yeah, I mean, guys are excited, obviously, but I mean, we understand that it's a, it's a big occasion and stuff, so guys are just trying to approach it as just another game and, you know, first and foremost, we need to play well to be able to have a chance and, and you know, win the cup, hopefully.